Oh, <laughs> sorry. This is Mac Boland from IllinoisMapMen.com. Today I'll be pre previewing Clovis, California. Clovis is coming to Illinois for a quad at Montini Catholic on Friday and the Sandberg Super Duels on Saturday. For those of you who are unfamiliar with Clovis, Clovis High School is located in Clovis, which is near Fresno, middle of the state between San Francisco and LA, just outside of the Sierra National Forest. And if you still can't figure out where that is, buy one of these. And this preview is brought to you by our sponsors, Fellowship of Christian Athlete Wrestling and GEI Wrestling Apparel. You want it? Go earn it. Now, a little bit of background here on Clovis. Clovis High School has a, a huge wrestling tradition. The uh, coaching staff, phenomenal coaching staff, head coach Steve Tirapelli and for those of you who follow Illinois wrestling, Adam Tirapelli, connection here to the Illini. Adam was a three-time All-American and an NCAA champ for Illinois in 2001. And Troy and Alex Tirapelli also attended University of Illinois. In fact, over this weekend, I would not be surprised to see uh, Illinois head coach Heffernan pop in in one of these meets. Clovis has won 12 team titles in California, including a run currently that goes from 2011 to 2014. 29 state champs, and folks, if you know anything about California, that's 29 state champs in the most populous state in the country in a single class tournament. Three NCAA champs, 11 NCAA All-Americans, last year Nick Nevels finished the season, number one ranked for Clovis at 285 pounds. I believe currently he's attending Penn State University. Clovis has won six straight Doc Buchanan titles. Doc Buchanan tournament being the toughest tournament on the west side. Also, uh, hey, you got to love a tournament that gives out a cowboy hat to the champion. Clovis was third in a Clash 10. This is significant because Clash 10 probably had the deepest championship bracket in the history of the Clash. That bracket contained St. Edward, Apple Valley, Clovis, and Brandon Ford. And in fact, in the finals, uh, probably the best match of the tournament, Zach Nevels with a 3-1 upset overtime victory over St. Edward's Mark Martin. Okay, so Clovis is coming to Illinois. Clovis currently number one ranked team in California and number four, number five ranked nationally depending on which site you look at. They will be facing four nationally ranked teams from Illinois over the course of two days. On Friday, they'll travel to Montini Catholic for a quad with Montini, Marmion Academy, and Washington. Montini, the number one Class 2A team in Illinois, and Washington, the number two Class 2A team in Illinois, and Marmion Academy, fourth, fifth in the state, and they're also nationally ranked. And that's Marmion Academy Class 3A. Then on Saturday, they'll be traveling to Orland Park to Carl Sandburg for the Super Duels, where there'll be approximately eight teams, Oak Park River Forest, Carl Sandburg, Rockton Hananiga, some other teams. Don't know exactly who's going to wrestle who yet, but I'm pretty sure that Clovis will face Carl Sandberg and Oak Park River Forest. Okay, I'm going to go ahead down the lineup for Clovis and look at some of the possible individual matchups over the course of those two days, Friday and Saturday. Starting off at 106 pounds, Brandon Betancourt for Clovis. Possibly facing Tony Madrigal from Oak Park River Forest, he's nationally ranked. Real Woods from Montini, also nationally ranked. 
and Louis Hayes, Carl Sandberg. At 113 pounds, probably the key match, the marquee matchup uh, over the course of two days. You have nationally ranked Justin Mejia and nationally ranked Jason Renneria. Both heading to Iowa, both nationally ranked. Everybody's going to be watching that one. Possibility if Clovis wrestles Washington, Mejia facing Dak Punkett. 120 pounds, Tristan Gillian. For Clovis, you have Anthony uh, Alex Madrigal for Oak Park River Forest. And he's nationally ranked. Don't know if he'll be in the lineup for uh, Washington, but Elijah Oliver, three times state champ for Tennessee. He's been out most of the season with a knee injury. Don't know if he'll be in the lineup. At 126, Clovis hasn't had 126 pounder. I am expecting maybe one of the two that have been wrestling 132, Dylan Martinez or Brandon Martino, to be down at that weight. Of course, at 126 for Carl Sandberg, nationally ranked Rudy Yates, Gabe Townsville for Oak Park River Forest, and Jimmy Powelski for Montini Catholic. Now at 138, Christian Olivas won Doc Buchanan last weekend, possibly could be down at 132. Uh, Isaiah Hockett, Hockett was also at that weight class. Uh, he injury defaulted. Possibly see him at 138 and Olivas down at 132. Now 132, uh, nationally ranked for Montini Catholic, Dylan Duncan, and for Marmion Academy, A.J. Jaffe. At 138, there's a, for Illinois, there's a, a few guys are all pretty close, none of them nationally ranked. Uh, Savan Benetti for Oak Park River Forest, Christian Robertson for Carl Sandberg, and Caleb Fortuna for Montini Catholic. 145 pounds, Elaine Barnes for Clovis, and 145 pounds uh, for Illinois, Larry Early, Oak Park River Forest High School, Vince Turk for Montini Catholic, both of those are nationally ranked. And then uh, Callahan for Marmion Academy. 152 pounds, Jared Hill. And 152 pounds, number one ranked in the country, Isaiah White for Oak Park River Forest High School. 160 pounds, Dominic Kincaid. And this, this is where it really gets interesting. And this is why Clovis is a tough dual meet matchup for any team out there nationally because uh, back when some idiot, I mean individuals, decided to change the high school weight classes uh, and adding 195 pounds to an already pretty thin upper weights, uh, Clovis is one of the schools that benefited because they've always been tough in those heavier weights. And in fact, the run they have here from 160 pounds to 285 pounds includes all top five guys ranked in the state of California. It reminds me a lot of the lineup that St. Edward had a few years ago where you had a run of uh, Mark Martin, Dominic Abinader, uh, Suvac, Waltz, and Kuhar. Anyway, uh, at 160 pounds, Dominic Kincaid uh, for Illinois, Matt Rundle Oak Park, Luke Fortuna, uh, Montini Catholic, and again, if they do dual Washington, Randy Menaweather, who is a defending 152 class 2A state, cha state champ and currently ranked 170 pounds. Josh Hokett uh, probably wrestled Anthony Valencia better than anybody not named Mark Hall has this year. Possible matchup, Kamal Bay from Oak Park River Forest, Wagner from Washington, Riley DeMoss from Marmion Academy. Moving on down to 182 pounds, the junior A.J. Nevels, and this, this could be really interesting because 182 pounds and a lot of these teams are loaded. You have Xavier Montalvo from Montini Catholic, he's nationally ranked. Nathan Traxler from Marmion Academy, he's nationally ranked. Then on top of that, Pat Brucky for Carl Sandberg and Tyler DeMoss for Rock and Hananiga, and that is if Hananiga should duel Clovis. 
195 pounds at apprentice, uh, 195 pounds relatively weak class, uh, weak weight class in Illinois. Does have the possibility of facing number two ranked Andrew Marsden from Crystal Lake Central, and that would be on Saturday at Sandburg. 220 pounds, Doc Buchanan champ Seth Nevels facing possibly Alan Stalling, Smoke Parker Forest, or Gane and uh, Gadinas from uh, Washington. And then lastly, another Doc Buchanan champ, Hexton Coronado. If he's in the lineup again, be a great matchup between him and Michael Johnson Jr. from Montini Catholic. Okay, before I wrap this up, I'd like to give a shout out to Justin Flores. Justin, former California State champ, former Division I wrestler, was uh, one of the top ranked judo players in the U.S. 60, 66 kilos for several years, probably one of the just best judo players to come out of the U.S., participated in the 2008 Olympic trials. Justin, uh, coincidentally, the top ranked 66 kilo, 66 kilo judo player in the U.S. since 2010, some kid who also graduated from Oak Park River Forest High School and wrestled for him. Again, this is Mac Bolin, IllinoisMatMen.com. Thank our sponsors, Fellowship of Christian Athletes Wrestling, and you can catch them at FCAWrestling.org, and GEI Wrestling Apparel, if you want it. Now, you can catch the action live on FlowWrestling.com with your paid subscription. Friday at Montini Catholic High School in Lombard, Illinois, starting at 5.30 p.m. And then on Saturday in Orland Park at Carl Sandburg High School, starting at 10 a.m. You can come out, see it, or watch it on the web.